Remember, brother, you say the hard things, the good things. Most folks haven't got the stomach for it. Every night while you masturbate in the ruins of your not-so-great-anymore hall, they're getting pleasure by foreign men with superior testosterone levels and far more advanced sexual practices than your feeble grunt and thrust. Be careful, or they'll wear you like a sock, Harry boy. What's that? Can't hear yourself over the moans of your woe men in the hands of foreigners who play them like instruments. This idiocy has gone on far too long. It's time to wipe that decadent homosexual grin off your face. Time to see yourself as you truly are. Even better if you can find someone else, preferably a large man dressed in nothing but a towel, to thrash you while you're spread naked and helpless on a cool slab. Worm, oh yes, they're all gone, carried off by foreign invaders because you fail to uphold the most ancient and noble vows. The worst part is they might even prefer it this way. The time has come to take the vow. The vows are blurred and flesh. Fascism, Brota. No, no. When the blurred and flesh call, there is no discarding them. Speak true. Do you like the hard stuff? But it's mostly about trusting your gut. Who does your gut tell you is the source of Revachol's problems? Women, women, men of war. You don't like them. They're insane. Their idiocy needs to be scrubbed off this world with rubbing alcohol. Women need to go back to the fucking kitchen. That's what fascism boils down to. The rest is also important. But the main thing is that women need to know their place. You're going to keep your voos, right? Keep your voos, Brota. Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. The good things, you've said them many times. You are a terror, even to yourself. You plow your way toward the frigid lands of Gutler and Vasa, smashing every ice sheet in your path. Nothing, nothing can stop an icebreaker. This is the face worn by the first lawbringers, the noble tyrants. Today, you join their number. The lieutenant does not seem to share your enthusiasm. Better keep the lieutenant in the dark about the whole icebreaker thing. He's not gonna get it. You only said what everyone else was thinking. You see that seagull up there? Remind you of anybody? What? Kim? No, it's you. You, you and the seagull are just alike. Think about the seagull's story. It's one of endurance and adaptation. The seaside was paradise once. They were birds of that paradise. Then their paradise became shit city. And what did they do? They became urban survivors, eating burgers out of trash cans, killing and eating pigeons. No time for that sentimental bullshit. They're hustlers getting shit done. They're one pair of track pants away from gangsters, just like you. Exactly. The seagull does what it takes, and so do you. You've got that same spirit in you. When the time comes, you push yourself. Own it. Steal hot dogs. Shit in the sand. Whatever it takes to keep going. You, you and the seagull are just alike. You've just got to grin and bear it, like a champ. A champ with a rod up his ass. A shit test is something woo men give to men to see how strong their frame is, how confident they are. Fail it and they'll bail for another, more dominant alpha male. It's in their nature. Maybe if you're some kind of beanoclad, you, on the other hand, are a gut thinker through and through. You are an eternal machine. You know your people's history. You don't need some foreign woe man in a fancy airship to tell you what's what. No, you should own up to it. Forget about the haters. But there is one more Kingsman to confront. You. It's time to face yourself. The next time you find yourself alone before a mirror. That's where this will end. The final showdown. The Firewalker cannot die. Duty. Medals. Honor. 
chain of command. I like this guy. He's not a pansy. I don't like pansies. You've let your guard down. Now, the combined armies of pain and shit are streaming through your gates, pillaging your stores, carrying off your women. Remember, Kingsmen are not born, they are made. And the only thing that can unmake us is that which drove us to rise above in the first place. We keep that thing locked in the deepest cellars of our mind. So deep, we forget what it is. Now, shout from the top of your lungs. You are the noble sufferer. You're a hard motherfucker. Now, open your eyes and witness the small wonder. The HMS modest Kingsman has left the docks. You are neither the greatest nor the strongest icebreaker on the seas, but you are what you are. Despite doubt, fear, sentimentality, and weakness, you plow ever forward like an icebreaker, tearing through the frigid North Sea. Nothing, not pain, Fatigue, hunger, fear or desire will ever deviate you from the path. Like an icebreaker, you crush all opposition, plowing forward, no matter what it takes. You're tired, afraid, sad, hungry and in pain. But most of all, confused. Yet, still, like a tiny icebreaker, the tiniest boat in the fleet, you plow ever forward. It takes a true Kingsman to summon the will to face reality in all its darkness, to stare straight into the abyss and do what must be done. Brother, you have succeeded enough. The Franco-Nigerian Court of Honor has held your naked soul up against the sevenfold sun miracle and looked right through it. Close your eyes and know this is who you are. You were right, brother, back there in your sleep. All the weak-willed delinquents, dilly-dalliers, foreign moneylenders, insane anarchists, and yes, the woemen. They've run this place to ruin. Protect the suzerainty, clean up the city, revive disco music, and get her back. You could save Revachon. You could be the man, brother. There must be others like you. Men who long for the days when words like loyalty and love meant something. People whose yearning for the past is so great they barely live in the present. Those are the men you need to find. Those are the guys who know. History will remember us. And this time we don't have to worry about her being kind. Prateria Redia Kingsman. Charge for Revacol. Charge for love. It's breaking. You feel fractures across you. Out of the cracks comes nothing at all. No king. No man. And no king's man. The cracks were all there ever was. We are a spider web of glass that's painful to look at. And she's turning her head.